welcome to the Gary to Hellidon project update for December 2021. As part of the 1700 km rail line, there are five projects taking place in Queensland. The Gary to Hellidon project is currently in the reference design and approvals phase. In the last few months, from August to October, the Gary to Hellidon draft environmental impact statement, called the EIS, was made available to the public for their input. This gave the community a chance to give their feedback on the proposed designs. Inland Rail held six information sessions and two community consultative committee meetings to explain the draft EIS and show community members how to submit their thoughts. Over 120 local residents dropped in to find out more and we thank each and every one of them for their time. That document is now with the state government to assess and provide their recommendations. We'll keep you updated with the outcome from the state government, which will then inform our next steps. In the meantime, there are plenty of ways to find out more information. To get an idea of what the project will look like in your area, take a look at the visualisation videos on the website. The project fly-through gives a bird's eye view of the entire project. You can also check out the 3D model of the Toowoomba Tunnel that demonstrates our approach to safety and ventilation as we traverse approximately 6.2 kilometres through the Toowoomba Range. And to picture the scale of the project, look at the Six Mile Creek Viaduct visualisation which shows the highest bridge structure on the project, an impressive 49 metres tall at its highest point and spanning 966 metres. The links to these videos are in the description below. We now also have an interactive noise map so you can find out the predicted noise levels of the project. For more details on the project, visit the interactive project consultation map where you can drop a pin and make a comment. While we wait for the outcomes of the draft EIS, we'll continue to reach out. There'll be more drop-in sessions, meetings and newsletters, so please do come and talk to us. And for now, that's all from the Garrett Hallett and Update.